pum 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 Bum, 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 bum. That's not Dream of Genie. Oh, That's dreaming. right. I was thinking about I Dream of Genie in the bathroom this morning. That's bizarre. Because we never talked about it. No. I haven't thought of it in 20 years, and now you've just made me remember her bottle again. <laughs> I loved her bottle. <laughs> Boom. I want you guys to get how easy this stuff is, because she experienced it imaginally. It comes out of my lips. Yeah. Right? I don't plan this shit. I see. Right? Like, seriously. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you leave this in. This is good. Okay. Damn it. Knock it off. Yeah. Oh my God, guys! We've got an amazing show today. Your questions answered live. Uh, well, we're early, we're on time for f- our Friday, your Thursday. Yeah, Candace. Yeah, we well, always hey. do it at nine now. Alice, Sonia, because Travis. Hey, buddy. Tra- so show Boom. goes so long. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, this is our longest show. So if we do it at ten o'clock, it like pushes me to get to the pool on time, and then I'm just watching time, and I don't like to do that. I like to give my full attention to whoever is in. The room with me. That's, That's nice, right. And the boom, everyone says. Max, how you doing, buddy? Hola, amigo. Okay. So, so welcome your to questions. another Feel It Real Fun episode. Oh, my God. Number 849. That is the rightness, everyone. Your questions answered <laughs> live, which we love. Yo, Jake is here. Boy, Hello, did we have Jake. fun you or had a what, call. Jake? Jake. <laughs> that was great. I'll be sending you a link. So, Angela. Yes. Jesse. So go to feel, feel so start again. Good so morning. go to freenevel.com, join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. And for refunds, go to feel it real fun dot com. Oh look at all the thumbs Lots up. Lots of thumbs. Wow. I, mean, I think And a bit I, of love. And some love. And there's some lovin's in there. All right, so okay. we did all that. We did a lot. All right. And Dream Driven Day, guys. We're gonna open up the doors next week. Oh. Uh, they probably won't be open for long. Because yes. uh, last time all 30 spots were booked in 23 hours. I love that. That's called bragging rights. It does. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And good fun. And it just shows you that we've done something cool. And yeah. uh, so on. So anyway, Victoria. Yes. May I give this to you? Yes. <clears throat> My iPad. So much fun. Yay. So all right. we're going to dive straight in. We're going to dive straight in. Okay. All right. So the first question's from Bill Perry. No question. <laughs> Just to say, you guys rock, you rock hard. Boom. Thanks, Pillberry. Thanks, we Bill really Perry. appreciate that. And <laughs> okay. uh, he's the official link guy, by the way. Okay. Sometimes he shows up, which is cool. So <laughs> the next question. Always love him. Which is not a question. That's right. So the first real question. The first real question <laughs> comes from Opal. This comes from Opal. And she asks, I know what I want to do for work. It's, a, it's my ideal, and I love it for many reasons, including salary and location. Should I be more general? I feel at home at this place. All right. Sometimes you just want Chinese. Right? Yeah. Sometimes you want... Thai. Oh, my, well, no, 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 no. I do. Okay. Let's start over because Victoria okay. is doing just what Victoria it. does. She just totally screwed Again. it up. It's Last game over. Freenevel.com. That was fun. No more show. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you want Thai. Mm-hmm. That's all. Victoria, yes. What are you hungry for? Thai. So we go there. And when you're there, you discover what it is. Other times, it's like, Victoria, mm-hmm. what are you hungry for? Don't know. All right, and that's really weird. And then sometimes she knows exactly what the Thai dish is, right? Victoria? Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes, I'll have Massimum lamb. Right. And then, and that's it. And then I'll, we'll start the show and I'll go, Massamam lamb, Massamam. Yeah, for no reason at all, right? Like the I Dream of Genie. I like the I Dream of Genie. Sometimes she just has a, a song in her head and I get a song in my head. Sometimes it's a specific song. Here's the thing. Whatever your actual desire is. Mm. Remember, we started this week out with the Y. The Y files. The Y files, right? Yeah. And it started out with, with your hunger. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a de- definite hunger. Hunger. An intense right? burning an desire. An intense burning desire. Yeah. So if your intense burning desire is a Chinese buffet, you go there. But if it's the egg rolls on that buffet, you go there. Right? Boom. Massimum lamb, Joe. Yes. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy creature you oh. guys don't have many of in uh, Joe, yes, where you introduced live. me to it, of Ooh, course. Boom. <laughs> She's, what are you doing? And um, it is beautiful. Right. So, yeah. Watch her. Mm. Right? That's, an, that's a genuine expression. Oh, right? Versus sometimes you just like, right, let's go Greek, mm. right? Let's, let's go Thai, let's whatever, right? Yep. So you, you know if you're at the right level of specificity. It won't be your head talking. It'll be you experiencing. Somebody write that down. That was gold. So for her to say, I feel at home at this place, yeah. which is well, pretty nice. I like that. Yeah. 
I'm a real big fan of feeling at home. I guess I wouldn't want to feel at home so much that I live there <laughs> at my workplace. Yeah, Tim Ferriss did that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he lived under the desk and then he realized well, I guess something. we do that. <laughs> well, we don't live under the desk. No, we live at our place of work. That's right. And, and we love it, right? We love <laughs> yeah. what we do and so on and so forth. So, mm. boom. So what's Opal's next bit? Her next, so her, Opal's second question is, I understand middles, I think. It seems like um, attachments to me. But what if these are medals that I do desire? Cool. Uh, I'm really big into financial freedom. All right? I don't like the phrase, though, because it's often a bumper sticker and just drives me nuts. Right? Financial freedom. Right? Uh, so what does it mean to me? Right? Freedom of time, freedom of location, uh, to amp it up a little bit, freedom to be able to travel, like uh, private jet. Like I am not a fan of like the whole thing of traveling coach back to the U.S. or anything. Right? Mm. Just not a fan of that. But if I could drink scotch and stumble around a private jet, that'd be good fun. right? Mm. So I can imagine up stuff like that. But bring that back. We need to yeah, because I was going to ask a question about that. Because if she, if she says, um, I understand middles. And um, so then she says, but what if the middles are what I desire? Then Those are real is desires. It a, is it a middle then or sure. is it an end? See, I love writing. I love podcasting. I love doing shows. So, obviously, so I imagine up having done a great show, right? Right before we do the show, but it all comes from the, yeah. You know, what's my big thing? Yeah, you know, a loving teacher who doesn't trade time for money, right? So there's a big chunk. Got but, you. But what are the small things, right? So I put this together so Victoria could read it. That was fun, right? <laughs> you guys can't. Why? Because you don't have the secret glasses. <laughs> right? But 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 so you know you can have. Here's the thing. If you imagine having had a great Chinese meal, oh, mm. right? And while you're there, they bring out the egg rolls. And you go, oh, my God, this smell good. It's not a middle. It's a desire. So that big desire gives birth to littler desires, right? Yeah, right. right? Actually, um, we don't mean to do a crest commercial, but we actually, we <laughs> did do this in Dream Driven Day. And in some really down, cool ways. And it was ace, yes. See, watch this. Loving husband, big chunk. Yes. Every now and a few thens... Right? Goes, you know what? Today, flowers for Victoria. Right? That's a genuine desire. And as I was sharing with Jake today, uh, one day I go to the uh, outdoor market and uh, the lovely Sarah with an H isn't there. Sarah with an H. I don't see her. And she's who I get the flowers from. Right? She's just a lovely high school girl who doesn't know what she wants to do with her life. And believe me, that it, that just makes me smile. Because right? mm. when someone has the whole life scripted out, <laughs> I'm not yeah. a fan. Yeah. But she's, she's a lovely young lady who loves the flowers and working with her parents and so on. And so when I'm there, I've already imagined Victoria's yum. Right? Loving husband. It's a state that I nail and I live in. Right? And then I imagine Victoria's yum for the flowers. Mm. And then I don't see Sarah. Yep. But they moved her right around the corner a little tiny bit. So yeah. I, already, I already experienced the yum. You get a <laughs> big chunk. You know, loving husband. I'd still be loving husband without the flowers. So you've got your dose but, of But um, I've got my little dopamine. bit too. Yeah, my little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is she, right? You know, ooh, where am yeah. I going to get flowers from? That kind of thing. Yeah, right. So cool. those chunking, that's pretty cool. And that crass commercial, dreamdrivenday.com. We explore that in some really cool ways that are way beyond what we can do here. Yeah. But just think about this. You're going to have a state that you live from it yeah. gives birth to other little micro states, right? And desires. And desires. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, boom. Cool. Next. Okay. So, the next question's from Jason. Yo, Jason. Do I read all of this? Yes. Making everything easy and fun. Oh, thank you so very much for all that you do to, for us. For being so helpful. You're welcome, Jason. Thank appreciate. You. By the way, we appreciate the gratitude, thanks, shares, all that stuff. Seriously, because I mean, like, we love doing this stuff. And for my critics out there, you know why I do this? I had PTSD. I was nuts, right? Yep. I was also broke. And you know what I want for you? More playtime, more playmates. You know what you want to do? Bitch, right? <laughs> why do you think you bitch? You bitch when you don't have enough playtime and playmates and play in your life. Mm. So mm. let's nail that. So. Okay. But, and, and I'm not saying this has anything to do with Jason. You get Jason's thankful. Some people go, well, you know what? He asked for money. Well, Neville asked for money, right? He <laughs> did. Neville made good money, right? But here's the thing, guys. Ready? This whole thing right here. Be, genuinely be thankful, right? For what you're given, for what you take. Mm. Most people don't like that phrase. But you get there's a whole bunch of stuff out there that you're given, that you give yourself all the time, and a lot of the time you don't take it, right? Yep. Mm. Only bad people. 
make money. Take. Right. Take. Okay. See? Okay. Making everything right. easy and fun. You, tru you truly are a goal and inspiration. The life you were living with your lovely Victoria and pups. True freedom of your time and financials. See why I wanted her to read all that? Got you. This is what I want for you, for everyone. And now. Mr. 2020, if possible, please, can you give me an, um, some advice or perhaps make a video on how to get a healthy, natural pregnancy of twin boys and girl at 40? Thank you. Cool. And it's from a guy called Jason. All right. So, Dan, by the way, said gratitude is the best feeling ever, isn't it? All right. I'm thankful that I know mm. who I am, how this works, and we get to do this stuff and share and give. Yeah. So, Jason wants to know uh, how to get a natural pregnancy of twin boys and a girl. Cool. Don't imagine it's not possible. Notice what you're imagining first. Mm. And I love that you included 40. Yes. Right? So, so if you want to imagine having a, a lovely health... See, see here's going to be my suggestion. Let it be all about you. Not about the babies and not about the age. Okay? Here's the secret. If it, whenever it's all about you, this is easy. Whenever it's not all about you, it gets weird. Right? Post pops up in the group about somebody wants to manifest living in the house next to their best friend, and, but there's people already living there and all this stuff. And uh, the f comments were fascinating to me because the solution to me is simple. Let it be about you. If you lived right by your bestie, how would you wake up in the morning? How would you go to bed at night? How would it feel? Boom, done. But mm -hmm. if you got to make it about that house and worry about that family and what happens, that's all crazy. Versus mm -hmm. what do you want? You get it? We always get to exit our personal crazy. Personal crazy can be focusing on your age. Personal crazy can be focusing on, it's got to be that house, instead of you feeling at home. Right? Mm. Boom. Yeah, thanks, Jake. Jake wrote, whenever this is all about you, it's easy. It is. Mm. And whenever it's not, it does get weird. Right? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, when I imagine Victoria's young, I don't care about her. <laughs> you know what I care about? Me. Because when I'm happy, watch this, that she's happy, mm. I really care about her. But if it's, I'm buying this to make her happy, yeah. ugh, yeah. versus I'm happy, I've got a happy wife. Mm. Boom, you get it? Mm. It always comes back to you. Okay, the more selfish, the better. So, bring it back to you. So, for twin, it looks like I was thinking he, um, he could just imagine, I'm assuming a Jason is a guy, um, he could just imagine being a happy dad. Yeah, totally. You wake up in the morning and your family. I mean, what do you got to deal with in the morning with two twins and a girl? <laughs> <Yeah>. Crappy <laughs> nappies. <laughs> right? Crap. Loads of it's, them. <laughs> let's all sing it together. It's crappy nappy time. It's crappy yeah. nappy time. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that would probably Boom. be good. Well, so, if you so, imagine loads and loads, you might actually get quintuplets. <laughs> so, Jason, I'm assuming that you come from stock that looks pretty good, you and your sweetheart, right? So I imagine you having twin boys, right? Because you're going to need them because that girl's probably going to be really, really cute. And when she starts bringing home all the guys, the twin boys can be your intimidation factor, right? In other words, you be nice to our sister or else feed you to the chipper. Yep. So yeah. hope that helps. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Appreciate okay. it. Next question is from Alice in California. Boom. I watched one of your Feel It Real Fun videos today, and it was great. The one where you're wearing the, the one where you're wearing the ruffled scarf. <laughs> like <laughs> he wears a scarf, but I think I know the one. That's you probably mean. the Donna. I think it's the one that yeah. I said Donna would love, That's and right. then she said she did. You gave the example of a guy who was imagining his books doing well instead of being the best-selling author. I think I've been in that same trap, imagining my music doing well instead of being the super successful musician artist. Possibly because I still don't know exactly what super successful musician looks like. Any good, any good suggestions? Absolutely. Remember, always imagine what implies your wish is fulfilled, right? Because I honestly couldn't figure out uh, anything ever, right? Be, be, because if you've never been married, how do you imagine being married? Well, it's just like, how do you know? Or if you've had a shit marriage. Okay, <laughs> put your hand up if you've had a shit marriage before, right? <laughs> All been there, yep. right? Yeah. And, and it's like, right, 
So it's like, so let's get married. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yes. So, so, so how do you imagine having a great marriage if you've not had a great marriage? Or if you had a great marriage that turned to shit, how do you imagine up a marriage that's great that doesn't? Yeah. Versus like, right, it gets a little whack, right? Yeah. Versus, right, you know what I imagine? <laughs> I enjoy getting up in the morning after spending a night with her. I don't imagine getting up in the morning, can't wait to get in the car and sit in traffic get to get away bed. from her. Right? Yes. <laughs> right? I, and we play this little game with coffee some mornings. About, about who, yeah. Nine times out of ten, we make the coffee together. Mm. But every now and then, we flirt with, like, Victoria <laughs> maybe staying in the bed. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it's like, right. So, what would imply that I'm happily married? Notice I'm switching gears a little bit. I, I have fun with my wife. And it could be something as simple as that, Victoria. Mm. Yes. Would you? Yes. Like me, too. Right? Yes. And, and we flirt back and forth. It's fun. <laughs> Right. So, what would imply the whole thing with super successful musician or author? Yeah. Again, what would imply to you? It can be something as simple as the coffee game. All right. You're enjoying a cup of coffee. You hear your your thing on the on, on, on the, the radio. radio. Obviously, it's doing well. But you know if you're if you're that uh, super ses- successful musician. Mm. You know you you enjoy writing music. Mm. Right. Or playing music. Mm. Right, I, yeah, you know what I enjoy? I love feedback. I really do. I'm a feedback junkie. All right, all this love that's showing up right here. Yeah. You think that like that that gives me a special feeling? Yeah. Right, <laughs> feedback is good. Right. Yeah. So, you know, versus like making out with a dead fish. It's like no feedback. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Right. Cool. So, let, yeah. Hopefully, that made it as clear as mud. But totally flipping it from. Just imagining your music doing well. We talked about this on the Wi Files, I think, part two. Identity based manifest. Totally. Neville was all about the state of. So, yeah, get away from the thing yep. and make it about you. I yeah. keep hearing my music. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm impossible to get away from on the internet. I am really hard to get away from unless, I mean, you, it's really hard to get away from me, right? Uh, as a successful internet marketer, that was one of my early goals. Right? I'm easy to find, impossible to escape from. Uh, you get it? Mm. And whenever I do a search on one of my topics, and I find I've got to sort through three pages of me before I get to somebody else, sweet. Right? Yes. All sorts of ways to play. <laughs> Again, it's all about how I feel when I notice that, too. Cool. So we'll keep going. Come on, Alice. Thank you. The next question is from Nerel, and they're in the Facebook group. My goal is to be financially free. Money came, but it's not mine, and I don't know how to feel that it's mine. Cool. You get, you're making it about the money. Mm. Right. If you were financially free, how would your day be different? Mm. Right. There's, the, there's the big thing, right? Dreamdrivenday.com. See, the whole thing is, it's like how to manifest a million bucks. I, by the way, I study things. And I'm watching right now. You would you'd be shocked the number of emails I get about the guy or girl. I don't even know who it is. They just, you know, hit the lottery for like a zillion dollars, and everybody wants to know. Like, and it's like you're making about the money, right? Mm. Don't, mm. right? What if you let it be about you? It's always about you. And in DreamDrivenDay.com, we explore how your day is a reflection of you. Like literally, how would your day be different? Give life to that. Suddenly, if, whether it's hitting the lottery or having a business where you don't trade time for dollars or mm. yeah, a shagging buddy gives you a trust fund or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the two ladies. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. It's so much fun when you let it be about you. Yeah. So what's the question again? That my goal is to be yeah. financially free. Cool. Uh, she's, been, you, she's been getting money, but it's not hers. Do you know how much money is not mine in the world? Mm. Right. Technically, almost all of it. Yeah, probably ninety nine point nine. Right, but also technically, do you know how much richness I create and and, and give life to? A lot, right? Enough, mm. but I still want to double up on that just for fun. Mm. Boom. So, yeah, play there, mm. right? Don't make it about the money because then it's my money, your money, some money. Yeah, it's like making it about the house versus making it about you feeling at home. I really like, I'm sure you've heard it, Narelle, but just in case you haven't, um, uh, you, your your state of being a wealth creator sure. is sitting in your Eames chair. Totally. And listening to the traffic. I listen to traffic instead of being Drinking it. your coffee. That's answering right. Answering emails that have come to you. For, and it's all like 
this whole yeah. state of wealth there, creator. There, there's the corner of my day. You get it? Someday manifesting, money, money, right? Out there, some money, someday, versus my day, my wealth. Yeah, boom. Mm. All right. Okay. We bought chicken Kievs today. Yeah. Four for 20 bucks. Yep. All right? We paid retail. Yes, we didn't get a discount. Uh, You notice it didn't upset me? It was a genuine desire, so we got them. By the way, here's the weird thing, right? So this is going to tie a couple things together. We're in the shops. And we're there very early today. Mm. And uh, and Victoria talks about getting chicken from this one shop. And I say that he's not open yet. Mm. And, I, and, and I said, well, let's just get these instead. But meanwhile, I don't know about her, but I've imagined having the chicken from the, from the chicken shop, right? Mm. And so we go, we cash out, so on and so forth. Meanwhile, the guy that owns the chicken shop opens it up early. Yeah, he did. Right. He was just sliding his just clothes sliding open it open. That's like, buying the and I told her, I says, "Look, we got these other things. We can use this for these for this event tonight, right? So yeah. we'll take the chings to the event tonight. You want to get the chicken?" And she's like, "Yes, right." I've imagined her yum. Mm. Boom. So Madrid comes in early. <laughs> That's right. Cool. Next. Okay. The next question is from Yehudit. I hope I pronounced that correctly. How to shift out of the state of heartache and feeling less than unsuccessful, unworthy? How to know when you're, you've allowed those feelings enough so that they are not suppressed? Cool. It's like asking how do you get out of the state of Chinese food? God, I'm sitting here and I'm still... I don't want it anymore. But I, how do you get out of the state of Chinese food? Anybody know? <laughs> right? Anybody know? Joe says Bruce. Alice says Bruce. That's because I kissed him, right? How do you get out of the state of Chinese food? You move, right? Yeah. What do you want instead? There's the thing, guys. Okay. What What do you want in your day? Okay. What's your actual hunger for today? Okay. And it's not no more Chinese food. If what is it? It may be Italian food. It may be bowling. It may be putting on a pair of short pants and hiking across Alaska. Wouldn't that be weird? But what's your desire? Here's the thing. If, if you're denying your desires, well, I really don't know if I can have them. I'll just stay depressed about something that happened. We, people waste their entire lives doing that. Yeah. Versus, right, Yeah. If you, don't want China, if you don't want the state of Chinese food anymore, what do you want? Mm. Right? A Lamborghini. Cool. <laughs> Go drive one. Right? At the very least. <coughs> That's the thing. You go, you go, how do I, uh, you know, yeah, no, not enough feeling, feelings, suppressed. Unsuccessful, unworthy, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know what happens every once in a while? I get upset, right? Don't I? Yeah. I have these things called upsets. You know what I do? I move the fudge out of them into a desire, into its fulfillment. Yeah. Yep. Same with her, right? But here's the thing. If it's like... How long should I stay upset? We explored this in Dream Driven Day too, in a cool way, right? <laughs> little little thing, a grandkid should be all upset, and everyone would be either scolding her or trying to pamper to her. And I just ask the question: How long, sweetheart? How long? What do you want to do after? And how long do you want to stay where you are? Okay, believe it or not, weird questions, very effective. Mm. So, Victoria, cool. Next. Okay, now is the next one from Gail that little one that, uh, as well, or that's just from uh, someone else? Those are. Yeah, that's all one big thing, actually. So, so Gail's asked. Okay. Yeah. So the next one's from Gail. Boom. She asks, "What happens when I have a few states that I want to rest in?" All right. So there's the main question. Now she's going to tell us about a it. A little bit about it. I read a lot about the home state, or the one I return to most often, the dwelling place one that we talk about. For me, loving partner, successful fitness coach, successful entrepreneur. So financially free too, question mark. Loving mum, how do I pick or balance them? The one I want to be most of the time. Cool. Here's the crest commercial for manifesting to the max.com. In there, one of the things that we explored is my little thing about, and this is mine, right? You know, yeah, Neville didn't say this. I did, mm-hmm. right? Loving teacher, loving husband, loving puppy dad. Three main things that I bounce through all day long with one core quality, right? That's yeah. just a, like, that's like a ninth of the program, but it weaves its way through Here's why I like that, okay? I can notice pretty quick, am I being loving or a dick? 
right? <laughs> Sometimes I'm a dick. And when I do, it's like, oh, right? Dick husband. <laughs> <laughs> Not good, right? Yeah. So, 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 so if I notice I'm lost, I can either change my state as a husband or I can go, right, well, let me teach her a little bit, right? Maybe it's easier for me to slide into that and then come back and be a loving husband, mm. right? Or loving puppy dad. Bruce, let's go, right? Boom. Yeah, and then <sighs> got it out of my system. Now I'm back, right? Yeah. That's one way to play. Another one is just notice, what do you want to give life to now? Right? Generally speaking, at 6 in the morning, mm. uh, loving husband has done his duty, right? And loving teacher is going to be playing for an hour. Yeah. But every now and then, loving husband will give her a holler, right? <laughs> but you just notice, yeah, notice, remember Neville talks about the moment you feel a desire, that's when you move into its assumption. If you've got a couple that you like, Right? Mm -hmm. Just notice. You know what I feel like doing right now? Writing a book. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the shops. It's only Thursday. But I'm going to go sit in the parking lot till Sunday when <laughs> the lovely Sarah with an H shows up and buy flowers from her. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, when I feel like loving teacher and then that subset of loving teacher, going back to that earlier question, mm -hmm. uh, wants to write. I write. Sometimes I get up and I go, Victoria, I write. I'm leaving. What? <laughs> I'm going to the cottage. Cigar, yeah. scotch, gone right <sighs> things come out then mm. so, so that's what i do mm. but if loving husband wants to be loving husband and it is a thursday we find another chocolate way to do that there he goes victoria bed whoa no, he gives me a back rub it's really uh, lovely oh yeah, <laughs> yeah i just gorgeous those slam her, kick the puppies outside because <laughs> leave him inside he yeah the masseuse has assistance yeah yeah cool, <laughs> cool. so Cool. There okay, so that, that was, was for Gail. Thank you. Uh, the next question's from Priya. She's got a couple. Ooh. By the way, I'm going to back up for Gail just oh, for a yes. second, okay. right? War. None of your states have to be at war with each other. Cool, Gail's here. Nice. None of your states have to be at war with each other. That's the cool thing because here's what happens. Loving husband, God, he learns so much from being loving husband, and he's blessed so much from being loving husband. And you know what he does? He'll take some of these things and he'll ramble about them as mm. loving teacher. Yeah. What if all your states fed each other? Mm. You get it? Uh, some of us grow up in families where they fight all the time, right? So I've got, so you could figure, you could, you could look at all your states as family members and they all <laughs> feud and family feud, right? Yeah. Or it could be right. What if all your, uh, sometimes during the life trainings, we have people feed each other, right? That's yeah. good fun. What if all your states fed each other? Boom. All right. Cool. So that's the addendum. I like it, Dan Adams. All right. <laughs> Victoria, who's yes. next? The next question is from Priya. All right. I revised how I feel about my sister and saw her as someone living her own best life. Yet every time I think about her, I get angry for the way she behaved to me. Revision didn't stick with me, I think. How can I make it stick? Cool. So you're making it about this thing out there called revision and this thing out there called your sister. Mm. Right? Mm. Instead, what I want you to do is let it be about you Mm -hmm. You get it? Th this is a massive difference because uh, every time I think about her, I get angry. Uh, in other words, you haven't moved. Now, the thing is, do you want to make it stick? Nah. Remember, Neville said all the time, you will be, your state will be contaminated. And he also said you will fall. In, everyone can fall into a state. You would never condemn the man. You condemn the state. Lift them up. Imagine lovingly. Right? So here's the cool thing. When you get it really is all about you and you go... Right? How do I make it stick? No, that's about something out there. How do I move? There's the question. How do I move? Neville says the state you most commonly return to is your dwelling place, going back up to Gale. What state do you want to return to? Because there's the thing, right? So we could all go to the Asian buffet, sit down, and Victoria could go, right, there's an Italian place across the street, and walk out. He's like, right, <laughs> see ya. Yeah. That was fun. What does yeah. she want? I have no idea. Right. We'll find out if she returns. <laughs> well, or you can go to the Asian buffet and keep returning and getting more, returning and getting more, returning and getting more, returning and getting more. You get it? Mm -hmm. Boom. Jake says, how do I move? Ooh. Easy. Right? How do you not? Here's the thing. We're always in motion. Right? Cool. What say to I want to return to? That's right, buddy. <coughs> Boom. Here's the thing. We're always in motion. We're more of a verb than a noun. 
Yes, Victoria. Oh, sorry. All I was going to ask with that one was because um, we're talking about always making it about you. Yep. And so she's just, it's like she's just seeing her sister as, yeah, living her best life. Yep. But um, so it would, is it best for prayer to make it? She's the loving sister. I am the loving sister. I have a loving family. I'm the loving sister. Could be. It's well, on the road. That, Watch this. Ready? This still... I'm happy you're my sister. You got a sister? Yeah, I love my sister. Boom. Get it? She just did it. On the other hand, she could regret. All right? I regret that you're my sister. I've forgotten right? all, so many things that she's done. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten all the crap she's done. All the done, crap. Yeah. Right? You get it? I'm yeah. so... You know what it's like? When I realized I was happy my mom was my mom, uh, my entire relationship with my mom changed. Hmm. Boom. Versus, I am imagining my mother not being a knucklehead. Right. <laughs> right. Guess what, Mom? Yeah. For 50 years now, I've heard about you wanted me to be a priest. Yeah, so he dressed up the other day just <laughs> for her. <laughs> <laughs> you should send her a photo. She'd be so yeah, she, happy. Yeah, she probably oh. would be happy. Huh? <laughs> and if you zoom in close and you see what the good book actually is. good. Book. Yeah, and the thing was cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> that was good yeah. fun. So, okay. Victoria, what's Priya's next question? Priya's next question is, I made some lovely new friends, but they live afar. I want to have friends who live nearby and who share the same interests. I imagine me being a good friend and doing fun stuff together. The outer world seems not to catch up. Cool. In a way, they're both the same question. You get that? I'm not concerned with the outer world. Right? Never. Right? I, by the way, I, I enjoy getting the wins all the time, every day, dreamdrivenday.com. But the whole thing is... Did I bring that back? Yep. It's about having friends that... Cool. The outer world seems not to catch up. The outer world is always catching up. The question is, what's it catching up with now? It could be catching up... Uh, yeah, how many buns do you got in the oven? The, the, this, I always go back to this one. How many buns do you have in the oven? With as many buns as I have in the oven, I have no idea. Right? Which one it's catching up to next. We mentioned yesterday or the day before about at the dog park, I imagine fellowship. Everyone showed up. Right? Mm. I didn't make it about anyone, but I also had other wishes come true that day. But some happen that fast. Some take a while. doesn't matter. I just keep putting more buns in the oven. There's the fun thing. So... Uh, that's where I'm going to encourage you to play. By the way, so the outer world so, can seems... Can I say one thing for sure. me, Priya? I get that you look a lot for signs outside, um, just sort of from that. But I reckon, if anything, that is ace. You're wanting new friends, and okay, they might not be close to you, these particular ones, but you've met people that, you know, that sure. you felt a real report, like Ce fun with. Celebrate your wins. Yeah. Imagine more. Yeah. Boom. Just because I got a great deal on pork last week doesn't mean I won't get it this week. Just because I'm imagining a really yummy meal this weekend doesn't mean I can't have a yummy lunch. You get it? You can have so much fun. Never put your wishes against each other. Never put your wins against what you want. Yeah. There are all yeah. these secret ways war sneaks in. And it's been a while since we've talked about wargamedance.com. Mm. Really good stuff. So Yeah, that, that actually would be a real good one for prayer. I don't mm. know if you've heard that one so i'm gonna grab angela says what about moving into the state of deserving happy to move out of unworthiness i consider all of that i'm sorry bullshit because what's deservingness oh my god i mean well, that was ex that exact question from gail yeah. oh not sorry there was one before about feeling unsuccessful unworthy un oh well but do you deserve wealth Oh my God! Right? Yeah. It's 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 just whole. It's it's the whole deservingness and worthiness thing. Uh, I I I find that just another way. I'm not happy because I don't believe that I deserve to be. You get there's like four different causes there already. Versus what do you want? What do you want? I yeah. I I wanted a, a roto light uh, to put on the thing, and and I got one for twenty bucks. Right? It's on the thing right now. You don't even need to know what it is, right? This is the really cool thing because do I deserve to have a roto light uh, or a puppy? Ah, oh, deservingness, worthiness. It's just bullshit. It's just psychological bullshit that people make up that keeps it complicated. Versus, yeah, you know what? I desire a Big Mac. And if I move into the state of having eaten and burping up a Big Mac, remember the burp method? Somebody look that up. Yeah. Type it in. The, birth, the burp thing. Boom. 
Angela says, I want acceptance. I'm, again, that's what do you really want? Mm. Yeah, you can't, I accept you. But what do you really want? What's the, you know, where, where are you putting that in as, as something that blocks your blessing? Yeah, loving husband? I don't give a shit about being accepted. If I'm loving, happy husband, guess what I, naturally follows? Here we are. But if I'm going, all right, I I need to... uh, Am I worthy? uh, Yeah, am I worthy? I have to work on my worthiness (laughs) issues. And oh my God. Uh, Let me grab Kara. Kara says, slightly freaking out because I'm getting everything I've wanted for so long. Ooh, let's call that a boom. (laughs) Boom, boom. Excellent. Right? By the way, it really is fun. Like, so we, instead of having adventure Monday on Monday, we had adventure Monday on Thursday. Because when my buddy was in the hospital, we went to pick him up wearing a priest outfit (laughs) and a jar of cremains, but that's another story. (laughs) Uh, I didn't even think about Adventure Monday. And I I felt bad about it, and I apologized about it, and then I dropped it after a little point. Because it's like, right, you know what? You know what I'm imagining? I'm not imagining, I'm sorry. I did. Then I got all that on my system. It's like, that's not what I want. You know what I want? I want an adventure with her. Yeah. Right. So we, suddenly we discovered we could have an adventure Monday on Thursday. Right. That mm-hmm. was good fun. We went bowling, yeah. and we ate food at this really weird, cool, funky place. It yeah. was the gnocchi was actually better than what I make. It was absolutely and I'm delicious. sorry, I never say that. Right. I make yeah. better gnocchi than. And any there wasn't place even mention it. So for twenty to say that, the it was meat good. Eater of the world. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got the meatiest awesome. thing there, by the way, and it yeah. was good. So. Cortez says, question, can Neville and NLP be the same and or compatible? For me, yes. Cool. Most NLP, though, is about doing something to make something happen, and it's just weird shit. I use NLP to notice how people imagine, how they process the world, and give them some options. Right? The way I watch most people use NLP, oh, cool, let's send someone through a seven-step reframe and then run the... and something like that backwards. And it's like, all right. And... and uh, I've actually had nelpers trying to nelp me. Talk about good fun. Because they're... they're, they're <laughs> you can, Im- I can imagine. Uh, <laughs> Did you play along with it for a bit? Oh, give, give some dumb yeah, clues back yeah, to them? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's play a game called... <laughs> right? So so oh. here's the fun thing. Can, can Neville and Nuppie be the same and or compatible? Uh, i got to go to what I say about meditation. Meditation could mean anything. What I notice most people mean by it, I'm not thrilled with. Same thing with Neville, quote unquote, and NLP. When I when I go to other Neville groups and so on, and I see what people are doing, or when I go to NLP groups, and it's like, download my free ebook, 92 Persuasion Patterns to Help People Get Over Their Phobia of Puppies, and it's like that's just weird shit to me, right? Versus, right? How can I notice that they imagine puppies are a threat, and let's teach them something different? Uh, so that, that's a weird question. But it's a good one. It's a really yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah. So, what you do. Yeah, so what I do, it's a lot of fun with uh, old school NLP and from what I can tell, relatively pure Neville. And what I notice other people doing with both of those, it's just pure entertainment for me. Hi, Bruce. Do you, cool. do you, do you want on the show today? Oh, just slightly. Do you, do you really want on the show today? Are you and imagining he's something? To avoid disturbing right. the couch too much because Emmett's it. just behind Look at you. Him. All right. <laughs> Bruce is hogging the camera. All right, so any other last-minute questions? That was, let's see how many minutes today's show was, because Victoria Feels will... short. Shorter 9 than 38, not bad. It's a 38-minute oh, show. Cool. Usually they last about 45 minutes. Yep. So anybody, anything really quick before we shut down the show? Uh, do, 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 do. I will answer, as she imagined, uh, selling the 100 copies successfully. Oh, I missed the first part of that. All right, so a loving puppy. All right, so let's call it a Victoria. If okay. a question pops up, we'll grab it. All right. So, ready. So wherever what we you want are, you do. We want you to type some things in, guys. Yeah, we do. And for the show sharers, thank you for sharing the show. For those of you that are too shy to, <laughs> <laughs> why don't make this your way of life? I find it fascinating that people people come into our group, by the way, and they share things like. Uh, Today's the day. If you believe it's going to happen, type in yes and amen and holy bat shit and something good will happen for you today. And, and, I, and I go, wow, man, they're sharing that in my group. First, it gets deleted. Second, I notice they've just shared that to 40 different groups. It's like, do you really think sharing something that says praise the G and, and like you say yes, yes, yes and put a, yeah, it's going to do anything? 
Like, really? But this will. This is what you've been doing your whole life. Why not share it and help people do it more consciously? All right, there's my side rant. But for you guys that so, do share, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Boom. And what we want to know is what you learn, what you learn about you, and what was your best bit. Yep, type it in. Hey, Joe. Oh, Joe. Dream Driven Day, Joe. Show. I want to publicly acknowledge uh, J- Joe in uh, the July Dream Driven Day has given us little summary statements for every lesson. I know. Which has been my really eyes. cool. <laughs> I imagined that up, by the way, but I'm too lazy to do it. Right? Like, seriously, I wanted a little thing. So I'm going to incorporate that into. Uh, you always uh, outsource. Something. So, uh, <laughs> thanks, dude. I really appreciate that. Yeah. By the way, another example of a win. You get it? I imagine that there, but I'm too lazy to do it. And for some reason, Joe does. And, and cool. Love you, man. Thank you. So, boom. Okay. Right. We did all that. So, we did those three. All right. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, go to freenevel.com. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. And for refunds, go to feelitrealfun.com. Cara says she wants show share t-shirts. That could be cool. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Boom. Let's work on that. We're going to work on t-shirts later this year, okay. by the way. So, Nant is here. Dave is here. Dave says Joe is cool. Because we were thinking about doing the t-shirts and the cups. So That's right. All right. We'll see. Nant says, did I miss you? I hope you do miss us. But not as... In, you get it? Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> You have to watch the refund, Nant. But yep. So <laughs> okay. Boom. So have a great day. Have night. a great day, night. Tomorrow's the money show. The money show. So that'll be good fun. Bum, 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 and that's bum, it. Bum, 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 bum. That's right. Thanks for all the love there. That was great. That was Look cool. at it. it. Keeps coming. All right. Maybe we should sit here for seven minutes. <laughs> I mean, that would make it a forty-five minute show. Actually, oh, Bruce gets sitting. Three minutes. Oh my god, we. <laughs> We went on for like four minutes. That was great. Okay. All right. Love See you guys. Us. Oh, look at all that. Oh, Travis says, oh, look at all the love. Oh, oh no. my God. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's Brucey and Victoria. <laughs> <laughs>